Hello there. Today we're walking up Dunsinane Hill, um, which is famous for Macbeth. But we're not allowed to say. Oh. <laughs> Macbeth. Larry. <laughs> We've not been here before, have we? And who have you brought today? Roddy! Rosie's back. It's a bit chilly. It's the first frosty morning. And it's in September. September. Yep. I can see Shahalian today. You can see Shahalian, but it's a long way away. So behind us, we can see Shahalian. Well, I don't think it'll come out. And we're walking all the way up this little hill. Macbeth. Then at last hope came to Macbeth's suffering subjects. Malcolm had raised an army in England and with Macduff at his side he marched his troops into Scotland. There the army was greeted by cheering crowds who longed to be freed from the tyrant Macbeth. First Glamis Castle was captured and burnt and then Mac Malcolm's forces marched on to Dunsinane. To the despair of Macbeth's generals, he did nothing. Each time they advised him to go to battle, he laughed and said, I have nothing to fear until the day that Burnham, Burnham Wood walks to Dunsinane. and I'm standing on top of the hill that this story was written about. Oh, that was lovely reading of Macbeth, Florence. Thank you. <laughs> now you had a question about Burnham Wood. Mm. What was your question? Where is Burnham Wood? Well, from here, we're standing on Dunsinane Hill again, Macbeth's fort. Okay, now if we walk over here, we'll turn the camera around. I kind of don't really remember asking you a question. Right, okay, we'll point it out. I've got my grass pointer thing, okay? So on the camera, there's Shahalian, the pointy mountain over there. Yeah? We know Shahalian, don't we? Mm. That's the pointy one, it's really easy. Now if we go all of the other hills that are on the horizon over there, just underneath Shahalian is um, a lot of big trees. Mm. You see a lot of big trees? It's almost in a straight line from here. That is Burnham Wood and Burnham Hill and Dunkeld hiding in the, in the valley around the corner. Mm. So that's where the soldiers had marched from, disguised as trees. And that's what tricked Macbeth. Mm. Oh, oh, careful, Daddy! <laughs> <laughs> that's all right, it just tripped over the grass. So this that, is... That's what tricked Macbeth into thinking that the wood was going to get him. And here are all the other Shakespeare stories. Just zoom in a bit. Yeah. But not all of those were based here, only, only Macbeth. Mm. That's good, isn't it? Mm hmm Really interesting. And I think I have a tiny, weeny version of Hamlet in my doll's house. Yeah? Mm. Good, right, well let's carry on with our walk then. We'll go walk somewhere else after a snack. Yeah. Good. Mm-hmm. Can we buy some more packets of these, Mummy?
made it to another hill just here and someone's put a flag here and I'm thinking maybe it was the first person to climb this hill. Or maybe it could have been... What was his name again? Shakespeare. Shakespeare. Right. I don't think Shakespeare would have put that flag there. Oh. There we go. So now we're looking down on the old fort. There's people on it. We can just about see. We've just finished today's walk. Um, why don't you tell us what your favourite <laughs> bit of today's walk was? Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay, well, we'll say goodbye. Mm. We'll see you again next time. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. bye.